ಶ್ರೀಮಾನ್ ವೆಂಕಟನಾಥಾರ್ಯ ಕವಿತಾರ್ಕಿಕ ಕೇಸರಿ ವೇದಾಂತಾಚಾರ್ಯವರ್ಯೋ ಮೇ ಸನ್ನಿದತ್ತ ಸದಾಹೃದಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಬಾಲ್ಯ ಲೀಲಾಸ್ ದ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ಹುಡ್ ಲೀಲಾಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಯೂತ್ಫುಲ್ ರಾಸಕ್ರೀಡಾಸ್ ವೆರ್ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ದೇಸಿಕನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಫರ್ದರ್ ಫ್ಯೂ ಶ್ಲೋಕಾಸ್ Swami Desika enjoys the divya saundharyam of Krishna. Also, he enjoys the, the majestic, divine, sweet beauty of Krishna as Venu Gopalan. The way he shows himself as Venu Gopalan with the flute in his lips. And the way he shows himself to Desikan with the curly hair. dresses and the large beautiful eyes the red lips on which the flute is kept and the way he is standing it is simply a feast for his eyes and this flautist kannan is the direct shortcut to moksha swami says in this shlokam पदवी मदवी यसी विमुक्ते अटवी संबदमुवाहयती अरुणाधर साभिलाषवंशा कर्ण कारणमाषी भजा दर्शन सामनाकार कृष्ण हि शोड हिमसेफ आज द मोस्ट ब्यूटिफुल फॉर्म इन द मोस्ट ब्यूटिफुल फॉर्म so he enjoys and the moksham is nothing but having the darshanam of such a wonderful kuti krishna with the flute on his lips the delicate flute clings to his rosy lips and this is the direct route shortcut to moksham and to him i perform kainkarya to to i i hold on to his karunyam the one who has taken the manushya roopam that karunyam i hold on to that swami says padavim adavi yasim vimukte he is a shortcut to moksha shri krishna is a shortcut to moksha padavi adavi yasim vimukte he there are other upayams which take the indirect route the bhakti yogam which is a long arduous route though it is enjoyable but one has to have an uninterrupted uninterrupted flawless like like the oil that flows from the container down completely smooth no interruption no stop like that one needs to have the bhakti yoga so that the the nitya naimittika karmangal karmanushtanam all that need to be performed selflessly nishkamya that's karma yoga and then one the parishuddhatma swarupam is is vi- having is seen as a vision the jivatma sakshatkaram and the, which is jnana yoga and then continuously from there one needs to perform the bhakti yoga thereby at the end of the bhakti yoga perhaps after few births when at the end of that life when one leaves the mortal coils if he or she contemplates on him on pirmal then we would be able to attain him say shastra which takes few janmas bahunam janmanam ante and that's mokshopaya and krishna 
teaches all this to Arjuna in the chariot in the battlefield. <coughs> and in the end, in the 18th chapter, he said, Manmana Bhava Madhyaji Maam Namaskuru. Manmana Bhava Madhbaktaha Madhyaji Maam Namaskuru. Keep, contemplate me in, in your mind. Worship me. Pay obeisance to me. Be devoted to me. Perform namaskaram to me. You will reach me. And Arjuna still was, was not clear because he would not have the uninterrupted contemplation of him. So then he says, Sarva dharman parityajya mamekam sharanam braja ahantva sarva papebhya mokta ishyame. Do not worry. Leave that karma jnana bhakti yoham. Sharanagati, surrender to me alone. Maam yekam sharanam braja. I will get rid of, get rid of you. I will get rid of all the papams from you. All the papams will be absolved. You don't have to lament anymore. In that sthanam, I, I myself would stand on behalf of that bhakti yoga. And Kannan gives straight shortcut to moksha, says Swami Desikan. And that's what he says, Krishna is a shortcut to moksha. Krishna, his vision, his, his form, his beautiful form that we behold in our eyes is a shortcut to moksha. Adavi Sampadam Ambuvahayanti. And the Brindavanam is the forest. In that forest, there is a wealth which is Krishna. Urukalil Sanku, Urukalil Chakram. He has the Sanka Chakra Rekha in his feet, which is there everywhere in the forest, which is there everywhere in Kokulam. That Nilamega Shyamalan is loitering in the forest. And his Tirumeni, his beautiful, resplendent form his body shines in that forest and it adds enhances the beauty of the forest the the trees the green trees are now enhanced by the blue hued form shining resplendent krishna even when rama walks in the dandakaranyam he says shobhaya dandakaranyam sage valmiki says he made the forest look like the peacock's neck which is blue hued greenish neck color. So beautiful it is. Ambuvaham. Ambuvaham is the, is the rain laden cloud, dark rainy cloud. And he is like that, which, which completely enchants people when, when we look at the cloud. Krishna is the same. Arunadara Sabilasha Vamsha. In this red coral lips, he has kept the beautiful flute. That Maragadamani Tadampondra Tirimeni. Look at his form. Divya, Divya Saundarya Tirimeni. The red lotus eyes. The beautiful limbs. And those black tresses which, which wave because of the wind. And those tresses would like to stay near, the, near those lips. It keeps coming towards the lips. And the, the, the way he holds his fingers on the flute, it simply stupefies my mind. It simply captures my heart. Karunam Bajami. I, I, I utter, I praise that Karunya. Look at the Karunya. That Karunya has come in that Manohara Rupam. The Karunya has, has become personification as Krishna. The way he mentions Swami Desikan enjoys is in, indescribable in words. I now envision Krishna before me. He is literally a timely dark cloud showering rains to the forest wealth. Without him, what could have happened to Brindavanam to reach this level of wealth? Sakala Aishwaryam. Without him, nothing would have happened. His red lips, even the inanimate flute it, it's, a, it's an attachment is so beautiful the flute looks so beautiful to remain in contact with those rosy red coral like slips which is a direct shortcut to moksha this form 
This means that any other path will involve numerous stages, steps, routes, time consuming, therefore tiring for us. But you look at him, you cling to him, you see him and you reach moksha. He is to be portrayed as Karunya, Karun, Karuna that has come down to this world as a human form. He has taken this avataram just for us. I resort to him. I pay my obeisance to him. I pay my namaskarams to him. Swami Desikan says, Karanam Anushim Bajami. For some reason he has come. And the reason is to capture me, capture us. Manushim, the human, Karana Rupini, well, the way he is a human like us, the saulabhyam is transparent. He has taken this avataram, the transcendental form, just for us. So beautifully, Swami Desikan enjoys this. I worship the most merciful Gopala, who is the root cause of the creation, who is the root cause of the sustenance, and who is the root cause of the destruction of the universe. He is the one who revealed to us the easy to practice Sharanagati Margam as Gitacharya. He is the rain-bearing cloud, the Nilamega Shamalan, the most beautiful one to behold in our eyes. And the flute that rests on his red lips with the hair which is falling toward the lips, the most beautiful eyes, the blue-hued Trimeni, the lovely limbs, the legs, the, the cute sweet feet, I salute this embodiment of embodiment of Karunya. He is the Venugopalan whom who is a shortcut to moksha. After being blessed with the with the vision of in the last verse, Swami takes it as a real experience and begins to praise the darshanam which he had in front of his eyes. He celebrates the object of his vision, the Paramakarunya, the Paramapurushan, Krishna. He has descended from Sri Vaikuntam for sake, for our sake as Karana Manusha Gopala to respond to our Saranagati, to respond to our, our plea, prayer and to tell us that there is no easier path than surrendering to his lotus feet. Nanya Panta Ayanaya Vidyate Adiyan Sarvam Sri Krishna Arpanamastu Kavitarkika Singhaya Kalyana Gunashaline Srimate Venkateshaya Vedanta Guravena Maha Dhanyosmi Dasan